Hey, all my friends. Welcome back to Tuesday with Tasha. Today, of course, we're still reading about Black history, but we're reading about what we need to do with the history that we already have learned about. And the book that we are reading is titled Hold Them Close, A Love Letter to Black Children. It's written by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow and illustrated by Patrick Dower with photography by Jamel Shabazz. Hold Them Close, a love letter to black children. When happy things come to you, hold them close and never let go. Hold on to that one time when you just knew you had slam dunked the sun. Keep feeling its fire on your fingertips. Hold on to new eyes, eyes you've just met, eyes that have stars of wonder in them, eyes like yours. And hold on to eyes, older, wiser, and warm, that somehow never lost those same stars. Hold on to the smile of that loved one who just got free, a smile bright like a moon reborn. Hold on to their freedom glow. Hug and hold on and don't let go. Hold on to good tastes and good laughs on your tongue, a dinner that fills up every part of you. Pass the food and pass the jokes. Hold on to the memories. You'll pass those on too. Hold on to the stories the grown folks tell of your greatness, of empires and Wall Streets, of Kings and Malcolms, of Idas and Sojourners, of Hueys and Asatas, of fighters and poets, of change makers and truth tellers, and the first ones to break through. You'll need to keep those stories the same way the grown folks kept them. Close your eyes, wrap your arms around you, and hold on tight. But when sad things come, you won't want to hold on to those things. You'll feel like pushing them away. Some things you can. Push away the times you lose with the memory of a win. Push a disappointment away with a dream. Let the tears come if they want to, but then, when you can, blink them back. Sometimes, you can imagine those sad things away. Other sad things, though, come with a sadness bigger than sadness. You can't imagine them away. When the grown folks tell the stories of our great sadness, Stories of the past and of today? Let the tears come. They will need to. The grown folks might need to let their tears come too. Hug someone if it feels good. Let out the sad words that get trapped inside. Those who love you will listen. Then, look in the mirror. Do not blink. And remember, remember the children from days gone by. The ones who looked like you, don't look away, see their sad things. And then, see how they imagined too, see how they imagined you. See how they took and made joy however and wherever they could. See their eyes, bright with the light of a drinking gourd, those stars twinkle in our eyes too. See the glow of the sun on their faces as they sang, freedom freedom in the streets. The same sun shines on your face too. See young people like you today, reaching to the skies, the sun blazing from their fingertips. They are shouting that they, that you, that we matter. From your heart, shout it too. See them. See the swirling black winds of their hair and yours. 
See how the faces from the past light up the skies the way yours lights up the world. See their might, their brilliance, their victories, their sadness. See them. Remember them. Hold them close and never let go. I love this book. I love this book because it really reminds us that even though we just have a short 28 days of Black History Month that it says on the calendar, we can hold these stories close. We can hold these people close, hold these memories close, and hold these lessons so very close because we need them. We need to learn from them. We need to understand the good and the bad about them. And if you love this book as much as I do, please click the link in the description box so you can get a copy for yourself. This book on video does not do the actual book justice. The images, the photography, and the illustrations are so beautiful in this book. So, so very beautiful. Just another thing that we do well. We make things beautiful. So if you love this book, definitely click the link in the description box so you can get a copy for yourself. And make sure to like the video and share the video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep reading great books together here at Tuesday with Tasha. Bye-bye.